somebody may find the story I'm about to tell you incredible, but it could happen to anybody, maybe even to you. In short, we decided to build a house. My friends advised me to make sure you build a house with Itong, because they've got a program for people like you, the Itong House. It was true, the people from Itong helped me with everything, from choosing a design to choosing a building company. They also offered me a lot of practical services. You'll never believe how surprised I was when I arrived to move in. They had to be joking. Anyway, the man in the yellow overalls was incredibly relaxed, telling me that building an Itong house meant fast and easy building. With a bit of help, even the clumsiest guy could manage it. The man turned out to be a master bricklayer who would show and explain to me how construction of such a house works. The building site is prepared in the same way as any other. The most important steps are setting out and digging the foundation, compacting the base, placing the reinforcements and concreting over the foundation plate. Of course, all the steps are vital since the quality of the foundation affects the whole building process. Thoroughness pays. Any imprecision at the beginning is hard to make up for later on. When the foundation concrete has set, you can start bricklaying. Itong blocks are delivered packed on pallets in precisely the quantity required by the project plans. They can help with unloading too. If required, a vehicle equipped with a special sea hanger can help to unload the pallets quickly and carefully. Don't start to lay the first tier of blocks until you've torched the insulating tar paper. Later on, a mortar bed for bricklaying can be laid on the hydro insulation layer. Precision in the laying of the first tier of the blocks is the be-all and end-all of fast and trouble-free construction. Master bricklayers can come to the building site and lay the corner blocks free of charge. First of all, lay the blocks in the corners of the building. If the base surface is uneven, start with a block in the highest corner. Lay the block in a 20 mm layer of lime cement under the whole surface of the block. Make the block stable by tapping on it with a rubber mallet. At the same time, check the block is level in both directions. Using a spirit level, check the height setting of the blocks in all corners. Stretch a line and start to build the wall. Lay the first tier of blocks in lime cement. The mortar thickness varies depending on the unevenness of the surface. In the corners, join the blocks with Etong thin layer bricklaying mortar. The handles, tongues and grooves enable comfortable and precise laying of the blocks without any further corrections. Do not mortar the tongue and groove joints. The other tiers of blocks are glued solely with Etong thin bricklaying mortar. Before applying the mortar, clean all the dust and dirt off the block's surface. Spread the mortar under the whole surface of the blocks. Leave an overhang for thermal insulation of the base. For outer walling, the most suitable blocks are 375mm Etong lambdas. They are not thermally insulated since the thermal insulating features of Etong are excellent. If Etong tools are employed, the labour becomes easier and more efficient. Ensure good bonding of blocks. Extending profiles can be flushed easily with a plane. If there is any unevenness, it can be planed. Sweep the surface before laying another tier of blocks. Make sure that overlapping blocks are perpendicular and vertically aligned. If you use blocks without tongues and grooves, apply adhesive mortar even on their vertical sides. For inner load-bearing walling, use 250 or 300 mm blocks for higher strength. 
Itong aerated concrete strength is the same in all directions, so you can turn the blocks as you please, keeping their load bearing capacity the same. It took me a while to learn the ropes, but the master bricklayer was patient with me, explaining everything. Itong thin layer mortar is used for bricklaying. I understood why the mortar is called glue. It has similar properties. Preparation of the mortar is very easy. All you need to do is mix it with an ordinary electric drill, so you don't need a mixer at the building site. The mortar is applied in thin layers. Much less of it is used in this way than if the classic technology is employed. It's good to reinforce masonry under window openings. Since aerated concrete is easy to tool, reinforcing is plain sailing. Make a groove for the bar so that the reinforcement overhangs a potential jam by at least 500 millimeters. Clean out the grooves, fill them with mortar, put in the bars, mortar properly and lay the blocks in the usual way. Building is efficient. Compared to an ordinary house, several thousands of euros are saved thanks to extremely precise proportions, trouble-free shaping, the form of the blocks and the thin layer mortar. An outstanding property of Itong blocks is their machinability. They are easy to cut and shape, which reduces the material costs. No need to order shaped blocks or special expensive components. During bricklaying, there's hardly any material wasted. A bandsaw can be borrowed on request. Although itong material is harmless to health, make sure to use protective clothing. Itong is made of natural raw materials, silica sand, lime and water. Moreover, the composition of itong aerated concrete prevents mold. The easiest way to span openings is with load-bearing lintels. Measure out the load-bearing length and spread brickling mortar in the same thickness as when making the walls. Make sure that the arrows drawn on the lintel point upwards. Using it on lintels, thermal bridges are minimized and the base for surface finishes is integrated. Then you can fill in any gaps. Another alternative is a composite lintel, which is easily made by laying several girders, so-called flat girders, next to each other. Lay them in mortar with arrows pointing upwards again. Use a spirit level to make sure that the girders are laid precisely. Any unevenness can be easily planed off. Sweep off the dirt and dust. Finally, lay a block of tiers on the girders, mortaring all horizontal and vertical joints properly. Beware that lintels made in this way are not load-bearing until the mortar is set thoroughly. When building with itong, making reinforced concrete lintels is not a problem either. Use special blocks, U-profiles, which serve as a permanent shuttering. Lay the U-profiles on the construction so that the load-bearing length of the lintels is at least 250 mm. Glue the end faces to each other as if they were plain blocks. Put core reinforcement, thermal insulation and concrete into the profiles. Again, the lintels are not load-bearing until the concrete is set.